Okay, ladies, this one's for you. You can celebrate St. Patty's Day in style. It's time to learn some glam tips with makeup artist Madeline Beasley. She's back in for this special occasion. Thanks for joining us, ladies. Thank you so and much. And thank for you for wearing us. green as well. Cliff is waiting to pinch someone. I, we had to. So far. I know. <laughs> Definitely Anthony's still a little iffy because it didn't look green on TV. Oh, great. <laughs> Where's Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Madeline, we're talking about a St. Patrick's Day look. Uh, right. Tell us what you have in mind. Yeah, so today I thought I would show you guys kind of an easy, approachable way to add, you know, some green mm -hmm. into your makeup, into your everyday look, you know, without being too crazy or just keep it in your comfort zone but still color. Okay, so this is just kind of like a softer look, not right. too dramatic, but no. just enough to say, I'm still hey, it's showing. Hey, St. Patrick's yeah, it's Day. Same. Okay. Right, okay. yeah. So walk us through what you're using mm -hmm. and um, what colors, I imagine green and green. maybe something else. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so today I'm just gonna go in with some green eyeshadow, whatever green, you know, is going with your outfit, lighter green, darker green, whatever you feel like. I'm gonna go in with a really small eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take this right on the lower lash line. And I found that this is a very easy and without just being too out there and just add a little bit of color into your everyday makeup look. And this is just a really good way to, you know, just add some green into your look, being comfortable with the color. So just sweep that underneath the lash line. And then I can even go in with a little bit of a darker green. And then we're gonna add that just really close into your eyelashes, kind of just smudging that around. Just give it a little bit of dimension. And then you can already see the difference in between these two eyes. Just underneath, it's very subtle, but it's still there. And if you wanted to take it up a notch and add a little bit more green, so what I'm gonna do is take a white eyeliner. This is just a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, and this is in white. Okay. So we're gonna take this, hold these brushes for me. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in the lower waterline. So this is really going to open up your eye and really it's one of the many fun illusions of makeup <laughs> that we uh, can, can really almost. See the right there. I know, yeah. I love that. So and my can... eyes just watered watching you. <laughs> 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 well, it's just, it's a really fun and a simple way to open the eyes, make them look nice and bright, awake. And so with that green, you can actually pat that green onto that white pencil, and now you have a green eyeliner in your waterline. Okay, I like Ste it. Steady hands are a must. Yeah. <laughs> and trust too, that she right, doesn't poke trust. your eyeball with that. <laughs> of course. Let's talk about, she came in, she already has something light right, right. here on her eyelids, mm -hmm. so kind of talk about what you did before. Right, yeah, so for her, um, every day look is what I like to call it. I just did a little bit of brown, just really blown out, very blurred, not too dark. Just a little bit of brown all on this outer corner up into her crease. And then I like to focus a little bit of darker brown right here on the lash line. It just makes your eyelashes, open your eyes for me. And it just makes your eyelashes look very more full and a little bit longer, adding just a little bit of a darker eyeshadow just right along that top lash line, it just creates um, a lot of volume in your lashes. And then I always like to add a little bit of a brighter shimmer into that inner corner and a little bit onto your lid. Also again, helping with brightening and just making your eyes look really awake. Madeline, uh, let's ask you real quick, how did you get your start in this? Would you, did, were you always interested in makeup? Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, ever since I was very young, um, my mom, she's always um, had a hair salon and always had us in everything beauty. And so when I was younger, you know, YouTube was a huge thing. So in all my free time, I just watched every makeup tutorial I could find, whether that be, you know, crazy body paint, as you have seen. Yes. Or <laughs> even, you know, just simple beauty makeup. and. Ever since then, I've turned it into a career for myself, and I just, I love it more than anything. Just doing beauty makeup, body paint, crazy, just all of it. I love every end of it. Well, we'd love having you come here anytime there's a holiday. And right. next time you I come back, coming. maybe I can be your muse. <gasps> you sure can. Trust. I need to learn. There's trust oh, right there. Oh, 100%. Girl, that? You will do better than what I do. I do the same thing every day, and I need some tips. <laughs> I would love to give okay. them to you. Yes, where can people find more information about you and everything you do? Yeah, so I have an Instagram page as well as a Facebook page. They're Makeup by Madeline. And I also have a TikTok, which is also Makeup by Madeline. Great. Great. Madeline, yeah. thanks so much, and thank you, model. Of course. <laughs> we appreciate you looking fierce so tonight. Much. Thank you. Coming up, we have.